You're about to learn the most common cause of right-sided heart failure, and you're never going to forget it. But let's do a study gut check first, and be honest. Do you know your cardiorespiratory anatomy and physiology? And I mean, do you know it so well that you could be a substitute teacher for Miss Frizzle and shrink down to microscopic level and take a school bus full of fifth graders on a guided tour through the system? Because if you can't, this is why you're having trouble in med surge. Or it's why you're going to have trouble in med surge if you haven't started it yet. Because once you know the normal anatomy and physiology, the rest is actually pretty easy. Because if you start with left-sided heart failure, it's basically when the left ventricle gets tired. And there's several things that can cause it to get tired, which I should talk about in another video if you want me to. But when it gets tired, it's not doing its job. And its job is to pump the blood around the body. So if it's not pumping the blood effectively around the body, what's happening to all that blood? I'll tell you what's happening to all that blood. It's getting backed up. And this is why you have to know the anatomy. Because now the blood's in a traffic jam. And what's going to happen in a traffic jam? The cars get backed up. So the blood's getting backed up in the parts of the anatomy before the left ventricle. The left atrium gets over full. The pulmonary artery is going to be hypertensive. And then we get to the lungs. And this is why you see a lot of respiratory symptoms in somebody with left-sided heart failure because they've got fluid on their lungs. That's the casual way of saying it, of course. And as the traffic jam gets worse and worse, the blood continues to back up into the pulmonary artery. And where does the pulmonary artery back up into? Hmm? The right ventricle. The right ventricle whose job it is to push blood through all of those same steps that just got backed up. Now the right ventricle's job just got a whole lot harder to do. And eventually, it's going to start getting tired. And once the right ventricle gets tired, now we have right-sided heart failure which is why the most common cause of right-sided heart failure is actually left-sided heart failure. If you want to know the signs and symptoms of right-sided heart failure, just keep doing this process. Where does the traffic jam back up to next? Or if you want me to do a video about that, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to learn how to study this way for yourself, I'd love to have you join me in my VIP tutoring membership. You can find the link in my bio.